What's up guys, Xbox Mod 360 here, and in today's video I'm bringing you guys a guide on how to find the boat trailer in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online on next gen systems. So a lot of you will recall that I did a video a while back on how to find the boat trailer, but that was on last gen, and I did recently get a request to do an updated video for next gen systems, so that's what this video is going to be. If you guys did want to see that last gen video, I'll put a link to it down in the description below, but this is kind of just an updated version for next gen. The boat trailer is what you see behind me right here. You'll often find it being towed by either the Bob cat or the bison once you back it up into water you can launch it and the boat will come off so that's really cool but you guys will want to start off with a fast vehicle it doesn't matter what vehicle it is and in this guide I actually have two locations for you versus the one location I had in the last gen guide so the first location is up here in Polito Bay there's about three or four streets that make up this little town and it can spawn up anywhere in that area that I circled the second location is down here right above Sandy Shores where this little airstrip is pretty much anywhere in this area that I'm circling. So I'm going to start off in Polito Bay. Personally, that's my favorite spot. I like that spot better than the Sandy Shores location just because I've had much better luck. What you're going to want to do is basically just drive up and down the streets with your fast vehicle, and it works better with the fast vehicle because you can cover more area in less time. But what you guys are doing is constantly trying to get new vehicles to spawn up so that eventually the boat trailer will spawn up. If you start seeing any bisons or bobcats, that's a very good sign. But if you guys search in one lobby for maybe 5 to 8 minutes and you don't find anything, I would hit start online and hit find new session and just kind of keep hopping sessions looking in each one for 5 to 8 minutes. And if you don't find anything, then just keep hopping until you eventually find one. So as you guys are going to see, I found a boat trailer right here being towed by a bison. Just be careful when taking it because you don't want them to get away. If you get a wanted level, then just drive into the woods or something. Be very careful with it because you don't want to damage it or make the boat fall off. Now, it did take me 40 minutes, and that's the biggest thing you guys are going to notice is that this is one of the trickier things to find in the game. In my opinion, it is one of the hardest things to find. And this is me finding one at location 2, also being towed by a bison. Pretty much the same type of boat. And like I said, these are pretty tricky to find. This one took me even longer than 40 minutes. I think it took me about an hour to find this one at location 2. So I would definitely suggest doing much of your looking up in location 1 at Polito Bay. I definitely think that's the better spawn location. But anyways, the first thing you're going to want to do when you get this is look around the area that you found it for more boat trailers. When you get one to spawn up, you'll usually get others to spawn up in the general area. As you guys are about to see, I got a really nice orange one that I really should have taken. That one was being towed by a bobcat, and I really should have taken that boat. Not sure why I didn't, but I'm going to continue, and I end up seeing another type of boat. I forget what the name of that boat is, but you can also get different types of boats if you maybe want a different type of boat. And if you have any other friends that are also online, you can also continue to follow that boat until your friend is able to join the session and take it for himself, and you guys can both mess around with boat trailers. I wanted to show you guys this really quick. The lights on the back of the boat trailer are actually functioning, which is pretty cool. So when you brake inside of the truck that's towing it, the brake lights will actually come on on the boat trailer. I just wanted to show you guys a couple more quick features before I actually launch it. If you hold down right on the D-pad, you can actually unhitch it from your truck. All you have to do to rehitch it is just slowly back into it and it'll reattach itself, so that's pretty cool as well. And you can also get out of your vehicle and get inside the back of the boat, and you can actually sit in the driver or passenger seat of the boat. So you guys could have some fun with this. I don't know, maybe go down the highway, shoot at some people from the back of the boat while you're driving, and maybe get a wanted level 2. Whatever you want to do. One thing I do have to warn you about that I mentioned earlier in the video is don't hit any jumps or go up any steep slopes with the boat trailer. If you do either of those things, the boat can actually fall right out of the boat trailer and make it completely useless. But anyways, if you want to launch the boat trailer, just have it like I have it here so you can reverse it into the water. You guys are just going to go really, really slow and slowly reverse it until it releases itself. And the best way to do this is to do it with two people so that a person can take control of the boat once it's in the water. So once you guys see the boat floating just like that, you guys can then pull your truck out of the water and you'll notice you now have the empty boat trailer as well. So I was by myself here, so I did have to swim out to the boat. If you have a second person, and then they'll be able to take control of it right away. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much all you have to do to find and launch the boat trailer in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online for next gen. This works on any patch the same way because it's not really like a glitch or anything like that, so they're not really going to change up the locations or anything like that. I do find it amazing that they haven't added this to the game as something that you can purchase maybe from Pegasus or something like that. In my opinion, this is the coolest hidden feature in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, and I call it hidden because a lot of players have not seen it in a free mode lobby before. They make these boat trailers so hard to find, and there's actually a store downtown that sells boat trailers. I mean, they're all stationary, they can't be towed or anything like that, but it just seems like something they could so easily utilize. They could just put in a little store there, maybe edit the map a little bit so that there's like, even maybe a salesperson in the parking lot that you could talk to and buy a boat trailer from. 
And one more thing I wanted to mention before I finish is that you cannot put the boat back on the empty boat trailer, unfortunately. So that's going to wrap up this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think Rockstar should do with this feature, if they should add it as part of a DLC in the future. And if you guys found this video helpful or informative in any way, hit that like button below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing GTA 5 content just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from Xbox Mod 360.